and ceilings. The tin tiles have such a cool period look. So when I found this scrapbook paper that was embossed, kind of raised up and a little bit shiny, I thought it would make the perfect ceiling for Samantha's parlor. I took the sheets of scrapbook paper and used spray adhesive to adhere them to the ceiling instead of Mod Podge this time. I thought that would save my arms in having to hold it up there as long. So I trimmed off the edges after I'd adhered it to the ceiling. And lest you think all of my projects go perfectly well, you can see it started bubbling. The adhesive just didn't seem to hold it in place. And then it started falling. And eventually pretty much the whole ceiling caved in. So I started again, took it all off, and this time used Mod Podge. I did have to hold it up there for a little bit, but it worked much better. And I eventually got the look that I was after with her ceiling. I was really pleased with the way that it turned out. I love Victorian ceiling medallions too. So I found this round wooden piece. I really liked this design, but it was a little bit thin. So I took three round wooden circles, glued those together, and then I sanded down the edges of the circles so they were a little bit more beveled, a little more rounded. And then I glued the ceiling medallion to the top of all three of the circle pieces. I painted them all kind of a cream color and was really pleased with the results. I have not hung it on the ceiling yet, but it will look something like this with the chandelier hanging down from it. Honestly, I've been a little intimidated about doing all the electrical wiring. I've never done that in a dollhouse before. So some of my other projects, videos and Christmas and things took a little bit of precedence, but eventually it'll look something like that hanging from the ceiling in Samantha's Victorian parlor. Ever since I got this dollhouse, I haven't really liked that outside exterior color. It's just a little too bold, a little too magenta. So I got a little bit lighter pink color, just a little bit more subtle, and painted the exterior of the dollhouse. I thought this color better matched the house on the scenes and settings and on the front of cover of her books. That pink is a little bit closer to this one that I've painted the exterior with. I still have a lot of work to do on the outside. I need to do something with the roof on these sides, frame out the windows, do some shutters and flower boxes, do something on the porch. So I have a lot of work to do to make it look more like a Victorian home, especially if I want it to look a little bit like the ones in the Scenes and Settings book. But at least that bright pink isn't like shocking me in the face when I walk in the room now. I've also never been a fan of the bright yellow in the attic of the dollhouse. It just always seemed a little too bright, a little too neon. So once again, scrapbook paper to the rescue. I've actually had this pattern for a while. I kind of thought about it as the wallpaper for the bedroom. But in the end, I decided it looks much better as the attic of a Victorian home. All the angles in that attic were challenging, but eventually I got it all wallpapered. So there's the Victorian attic. And finally, I wasn't a fan of the blue color in the schoolroom. I took a look at the schoolroom in the Scenes and Settings book and it was kind of a pale green, kind of a pale olive green. So I decided to paint this schoolroom this kind of greenish color. Now that the paint was done, I decided it was time to decorate Samantha's schoolroom. I got some chalkboards at my local craft store. The frames were just a raw wood color. So I taped them up and stained them to match the rest of the woodwork. Once they were stained, I used some chalkboard pens to write the same 
things on them that were on the scenes and settings picture of her school room. So I copied parts of what were on those chalkboards, tried to make some eraser marks so it looked like a real chalkboard. My writing's not as beautiful as theirs in the scenes and settings, but I think it turned out decent. I'd been looking for a globe for a while that was the right dimensions for the schoolroom. I was excited when I found this one on eBay because it kind of looks antique -y. But I needed a stand to put it on. I'd had this dresser for a long time. It was missing one of the drawers. It had come with a lot of other American Girl things that I got. So I went ahead and stained it brown to look like a bookcase in her room. At this point, I have to do a shout out to my husband, who's been so supportive in all of my American Girl endeavors. He built me this drop-down workbench that's mounted to the wall of the closet in my American Girl room. So anytime I need to stain something, paint something, cut some trim, I just fold it down and I can work right there next to my dollhouses. Besides helping me with all of the carpentry, he also is the one who tapes my video segments where I read the books. He purchased better lighting and better filters for the camera, actually a better camera to do the videotaping. So my whole channel wouldn't be the same without him. Here's the schoolroom with the chalkboard mounted on the wall and the globe in the corner. Notice there's a little picture of George Washington there. I discovered in the schoolroom picture in the scenes and settings book that Samantha's schoolroom had pictures of George Washington and Theodore Roosevelt on the walls. Theodore Roosevelt was the president at this time. So I printed some pictures from the internet of Washington and Roosevelt. Then I laminated them in my laminator. I had these little wooden frames for a while that I was trying to decide where to use. They were painted gold. So I trimmed out the pictures of Roosevelt and Washington and glued them to the backs of these frames. And there you have it, Samantha's school room with the chalkboards, the bookcase holding the globe, the picture of George Washington in the back of the room. Samantha's desk is back in the room. On this wall, we have the picture of Theodore Roosevelt. There's still lots of work to be done in the school room, like all the other rooms in my dollhouse. In this room, I plan on doing some flooring, framing out the window, putting a chair rail, maybe even some wainscoting. So there's still much to be done, but it's come a long way from that empty kind of ugly blue room that it was when I first got it. So Samantha's Victorian home is coming along nicely.